What's going on, knuckleheads? So if you're looking behind me and you see that it's not raining, there's no snow on the ground, you're going, it's a perfect day, you should be out on the bike. You're absolutely right, I should be. The only place I'm going today is car wash, wash it off. But uh, kids are home, so I gotta stay close to the house. Some of y'all been wanting a review of the Shark Road four and a half inch megaphone exhaust. Up until the 29th of December, I was pretty damn happy with it. But uh, they didn't take kindly to the salt. I had noticed slight discoloration. Mainly here. And as you can see, the discoloration has quickly turned into rust and nasty rust. I haven't pulled the other bag off. There's a little bit of rust there, which the powder coat can't really get to. Or didn't really try to get to, I should say. They can get powder everywhere. But yeah. The exhaust still sounds great after a year. 8,000 miles or however many miles I have on it. I can't remember when I put the exhaust on. But yeah, just a short video today. Uh, do I regret my decision? Not really. 250 bucks. I can take it off, take it to somebody local and have it powder coated for uh, roughly another hundred bucks and have a good powder coat put on it good hard powder coat or i could take it to i got a friend that used to do ceramic coating i don't know if he still does or not well, let's take a look at this side real quick a little bit of discoloration nothing major i'm i'm going to try and convince the wife that i need a new full exhaust system y'all might want to in the comments that I really need a new full exhaust system. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get her off the, I'm going to put the saddlebag back on, get her off the lift, and I'm going to take and go to the car wash. Actually, I'm going to leave the saddlebag off, take the other one off. and go to the car wash and see about blowing some of that rust off god damn she's sitting crooked oh yeah she spun a little bit on me don't worry she's strapped in there she ain't going nowhere all right nope I might be back. All right, so we're back from getting the bike washed up. Actually felt pretty good out there without with just what I'm wearing, jeans, Dixon, no hat or anything. But uh, as you can see where all the rust was, there's no powder coat left. And that's not any better. So I will be doing something with the exhaust. When, I don't know. If you ride where there's, uh, where they put salt down the roads, which this is salt, this ain't the brine shit. This is, it's not liquid, it's just straight up road salt. Uh, if you live in an area where they use the brine, absolutely do not buy this exhaust if you ride any time in the winter. The other side, the other side's still holding up. Like I said, the only spot it's really got rust is there's a few dots at the collector. Well, I say collector, but it's not really a collector. And right underneath the uh, tabs for the mount. It doesn't get as hot. I mean, I've got my hand on it now. And it's, it's warmer there, obviously, but still ain't bad. I, 
yeah that's pretty warm on this side i uh i still like the sound of the exhaust still sounds great just it didn't hold up the salt i will see what i can't find i guess i still got the stock exhaust i can uh take the baffles out of it baffles and packing but that just sounds like work and honestly i don't think it'll sound that great it'll have too much of a a tin noise to it all right well thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell so you know when i upload and i'll see you guys in the next one